it is time for me to put out a compilation of the Benjis. I am putting together the first 47 episodes of the Benji album fill here. Um, and that covers every Benji spot being filled in the album here. So do sit back, relax, and enjoy the, these episodes. Um, there will be more. We have some upgrades to do. So those will be coming. And once I get those finished, I'll put out a second compilation and maybe just combine them all into one. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoy this compilation. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Hello and welcome to the first of a Franklin Half Dollar book fill shorts series. This is an old book I picked up from my coin shop. It was copyrighted 1959. Um, I believe it was printed in 61. That is the last date they have the mintages in here for. This does have plastic covers on the holes, so this will be fun. Uh, we're going to start off. First coin we're going to put in here is a 1960 in pretty nice shape. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's got some nice tone. So let's drop that in. Boom. How about that? So there we have it. Stay tuned for more. I will fill this book up with what I have on hand, and then we will slowly get a more spots filled and upgrade so stay tuned for more welcome back to my benji album fill last time i put the 1960 in this time i have a nice 1961 we're going to fill a spot this still has some luster on it it's quite nice one we're going to stick it in here and give it a little press so it goes in and there we have it that is another nice benji in the album. All right, part three of the Benji album fill. I have a 1957. This one's not as nice as the first two, but we are starting out with what I have on hand and we will slowly fill and upgrade the holes. So this one will get upgraded at some point, but it's what I have on hand. This one is from Denver. So let's find the Denver slot and put it in there. Nice. Benji number three has entered the album. All right, part four of my Benji album fill. This is probably the oldest and one of the most beat up Benjis I have to fill the album right now. So we will be upgrading this at some point. It is a 1953 out of Denver. This one is starting to get kind of slick there, so... We will have to find an upgrade for it soon. But for now, let's fill the spot. All right, all right, part five of my Benji album fill. This is probably the other um, beat up and nastiest Benji I have here. 1962 out of Denver. We will have to get an upgrade for this definitely, just like the last one. But for now, until I find that nice one, we're going to fill the slot here. Let's put it in the slot here. Nice. Now, it's not as nice as these others on this page, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. But we will upgrade that soon. All right, the album's coming along. Let's add this 1963. This one is getting a little slick, but it still has some details. This one is from Philly. So let's drop it in the slot there. Again, another thing, another one that we will be upgrading at some point, but we're just filling the album with what I have on hand right now. So look for an upgrade to come soon. Okay, we have some really nice binges, some that do need upgrades and this, I think, is the last one I have on hand. 1958. 
out of Denver. Still has some nice luster. Um, it's not mint state, but it does look pretty nice. We are going to fill it in here. Um, so there we go. Nice. I will look around and see if I have any more Benjis on hand to, f to put in the book for now. And then I'll have to go to the coin shop and see what I can find. All right. So I did some looking around and I found a few more Benjis. So I'm going to put one on the first page here. I've got a 1952 out of Denver here. It's in pretty nice shape, got some luster. I'm gonna pop, pop it out of here and we'll put it in the spot. All right, here we are, 1952. It's got a few scratches on it, but it is a 1952 out of Denver and it still has some luster. So let's fit it in. How about that? Another Benji. Let's see what else we can put in here. All right, I'm over on the last page on this uh, Benji fill, but I've got a pretty nice 1963 here out of Denver. We're gonna put it in here. Let me pop it out here. And keep them staples away from it. Let's take a nice look at it. That is a 1963 out of Denver, nice and shiny. This one's pretty nice. It's not perfect. It's got some wear marks, got a few scratches and dings, but hey, that's pretty good, pretty good. Let's slide it in. And boom, how about that? Oh man, that is shining in that light. That looks nice. All right, it is time for a potential upgrade. First one of the thing here is the 1958 Denver that I have in here. And I came across this one. This one does look a little bit cleaner. A little has a little more luster on it. So I'm gonna compare this one and this one. Let's see, which one do you like best? Should I do the new one or the old one? Leave your comments down below, new or old. Let's look at the reverse. And here is the reverse. Vote down below, let me know which one you like, the new one. Or the old one? Which one should I leave in my album? Whichever one gets the most votes will be upgraded in the next short. It is time to decide whether this gets upgraded. Last time I put this up for a vote. Should we upgrade her or leave the one in here? And based on the comments and all the votes, um, leaving this one did get the most votes. Um, and this one does look really nice. But um, I would have to agree after looking at them, this one does have more detail and does look pretty nice. So I'm going to leave this one in here and we're going to go do another Benji this time. All right, one page back. Got a 1954 out of Denver. This has a lot of dark tone on it, but it is still decent. Um, this will probably be one we are going to upgrade at some point, but let's pop it in. That's one more Benji spot filled. Awesome. All right, it is time for another Benji album fill. Um, this time I am on the first page and I have this 1952 very toned up Benji. This one's out of Philly. Still got some nice detail, but it does have a thick layer of tone on it. Not bad, but we are going to put it in this 1952 slot and have another spot filled. How about that? Nice. Welcome back to another Benji album fill. This time we're going to do one on the first page. This is the last one I have on hand to put in the album right now. And that one is... 1948, first year of the Benji. It is a bit grungy and dirty, but it is what I have on hand. So we will probably have to upgrade it 
This one's from Philly, so it goes in the very, very first spot. It's always nice to fill that very first spot in an album. Nice. I'm going to have to get some more Benji soon, so hopefully I can find more to fill some spots and maybe some upgrades. Stay tuned. See what I find. All right, it's time to put another uh, coin in the book, the Benji book. This one is a Denver. It is pretty slick, but that's what I got. 1948, another first year Benji. All right, here we go. Let's pop that in there. And boom, there it is. That is another first year Benji. To fill the spot that will be updated at some point we'll upgrade it and get a nice one in there at some point as soon as i can find one hopefully it doesn't cost an arm and a leg i gotta get some 49s too <laughs> it's time for a potential benji upgrade potential upgrade today some beautiful toning on it it does have some details on the high point it does have somewhere marks on some of the high points. The one in here, if you look right here in the hair, it is more worn on the cheek, on the hair, on the head. And this one has more detail. Let's check out the reverse. Right here, it's very well defined, very well defined lines. Um, this back is much better than the front. It looks like there's a little lamination here. Um, the lines are worn off and you can see right here, a lot of wear. So much better example we're going to upgrade this all right so i've popped out the old one and behind it we can see the 61 that is nice and shiny but on top of it well on the page before it we're going to put in this one not perfect but nice for today's benji we're going to go to the last page can you see which one we're going to put in here um it's not in the best shape it is kind of worn Pretty slick on both sides, but it fills the spot for now. Again, another future upgrade, but that is another spot filled. Awesome. All right, one more to fill up. We're gonna do the first page today. Let's see which one we have. How about this one? Cause that's the only one I have. <laughs> it's another slick one this one's really slick and so slick it falls out of my hand this is a 1951 out of philly really slick but it's another spot filled for now until we find a nice upgrade another spot filled album's coming along nicely all right, it is time for another potential upgrade. Got this 1962 out of Denver. It is pretty ragged. I got some lots of scratches. The hair is kind of worn. Um, this one's nicer, not a lot of scratches. It is um, kind of worn, but it does have a little more detail on the hair. And it's just in a nicer shape. Let's check the reverse. On the reverse, you can see there's some wear in the middle here. It is kind of dirty and filthy. More wear up here. Here is this one. Um, it also has some wear here. It looks like there's more detail here. And again, much cleaner shape. Let's upgrade. All right, here we go. Pop it in. And yep, I do like that one better. I think that was a good choice. All right, it is time to put another Benji in the album. A nice 1951 out of Denver here that I am going to put in this place. So the nicest, this is probably the, one of the nicer older ones I have here. Well, let's pop it in. And there we go. It's another spot filled. Very awesome. Very cool indeed. Album's coming along nicely. This is part 20 of the Benji album fill series. 
this uh, is some shots of the album of where we're at. I wanted to show what is missing and what is here. And here are some close-ups of each coin that is currently in the album. Now before we continue on with the series of adding and upgrading this album, I wanted to take a break and show where we're at. After 20 episodes, this is where we're currently at. Some of these coins are a bit old and beat up. Some of them are new. Some of them are toned. Some of them are blazing white. Uh, some of them do need to be upgraded, and some of them are in some really nice condition. So let me know what you think. Let me know which coin is your favorite out of this album currently down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying the series, and stay tuned for more Benji album upgrades and spot fills. Have a great day. Okay, it is time for another Benjamin to go in the album. I've got this 1958. So it's 4 million minted. This is one of the lower mintage ones. This one is in nice, nice, shiny state BU type coin. Um, I'm going to pop it out here. Look at how nice and shiny white that is. That is a very nice, nice one. Um, I'm going to pop it in here and we will fill another spot. As always, the uh, link to the full playlist is in the description down below. And um, the last. Well, today we got an upgrade. I've got this one in here. It's pretty beat up. Got a nice little scratch on it. This is uh, one that I had on hand and uh, needed to upgrade. Well, today we've got this one here. This is a nice BU one. Let's pop it out here and take a good look. 1953 out of Denver. In very nice shape. Very nice shape here. How about that? How about that for an upgrade? Let me pop that one out and we'll put this one in. All right, that one's going to my junk silver. 90% stack, this one, nice shiny one, will be in the book. How about that for another spot upgraded? Whew, that was a well zoom in. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Here's one more good look at it outside of the flip before we put it in. Right here on the last page, um, I've got some nice ones, some ones that need to be upgraded. But right now, I'm going to put... A new one in this spot. You got this nice 1959 from Denver. That's going to go in the slot, but it still has a lot of luster and it looks pretty nice. All right, here's one more good look at it outside of the flip before we put it in. Mm, yeah, that one's pretty nice, pretty nice indeed. How about that? That is another really nice upgrade or fill, spot fill. This album's really taken on a new shiny, shiny aspect. Very nice. Let us add another Benjamin Franklin half dollar to the album. I have a 1950 out of Philly. This one. Is in pretty nice condition. It's not as nice as some of the others I've been putting in there, but it does have a little bit of shine left to it. So let's find the spot here, and it goes right in here. Let's drop that in. And there we have it. That's another spot filled in the Benji album, 1950. Nice, nice, nice. It's coming along nice. Okay, since we're here on the first page, let's drop another Benji here. 1950 out of Denver. This is another pretty nice one. Not perfect, but it is in pretty good shape. So let's 
drop it in the slot there. And there we have it. That is another Benji fill in a hole. Very nice indeed. Awesome. Album's coming along nicely. There are 35 dates and mint marks of Benjamin Franklin's, not counting the proofs. We have 20 spots filled in the album. That means we have 15 holes to fill. Let's fill another one. I have a 1962 out of Philly here. And this one is in really nice shape. It's got a little bit of original toning up there on the top. Some nice tone. Let's pop it out here and take a good look at it. Yeah, look at that luster. Doesn't quite have full bell lines, but it is a very, very nice one. All right. Can you see? That is a beautiful Benji album fill. 21 Benjis spots filled, um, 14 more spots to go. And of course we need a few upgrades too. It has been a while since I put a Benji in the Benji album, but I was able to get the coin shop and I have a few here that we're going to put in. Um, a couple that are upgrading, but let's start out with this one. This one's going to be a, a spot fill for sure. And a really nice one at that. This is a nice 1949. Um, probably about uncirculated or lower mint state. Out of Philly, 1949. And nice lustrous. It's still got that luster on it. Let's put this in the album here. This is going to be the nicest earliest date in this album so far a nice lustrous 1949 how about that beautiful benji for the album i have a few more benjis to go for the album before i have to go get more and it might be a while but i got this pretty nice lustrous 1963 this one is out of Denver. It has a couple spots, unfortunately, but it is in really nice shape otherwise. And you can look at those bell lines, and they're not full bell lines. There's a couple of dings, but they are very detailed. Let's put this in the spot. Well, we already have one in the spot, and it is nice. But this one is nicer. It has less dings on it. You can see in the fills, there's not a little some chatter around so let's upgrade this spot there we go it's not perfect but it is in much better shape than the one that was in there and it's always nice to upgrade a spot in the album time for another benji for the album and we're going all the way back to 1948 this one is in really nice shape got some luster First year Benji, we are going to be upgrading this one. It's got a little bit of wear on the high points of the hair, but overall, this one is a really nice coin. Has a little bit of wear here, but otherwise, really nice overall. There is the one that's in there. It is pretty worn. Got some dirt and gunk across the front, some uh, dark tones. There is the new one. Man, what a difference some luster makes. And here we go. It has that nice luster, nice details, and a nice 1943 first year Benji for the album. And the last Benji I have on hand, so it may be a while before the next short comes out. We have a nice 1950 with some luster on it. It's got some good details. It's got a little wear on the hair, on the high points, but overall a nice lustrous coin. Has a Denver mint mark. And uh, this one is going to be an upgrade. Let's compare side by side. You can just see how much nicer the new coin is. Let's pop that one out there and get this one in the slot. Here we go. Boom. Very nice coin to put in the album. This album is just getting nicer and nicer by the coin. 
I need to get me some more Benjis and some more nicer ones to go in here. It is time to add another Benji to our album. It has been quite a while since I was able to find some Benjis to put in this, but we have some to go in, starting with this nice, shiny, lustrous 1951. This one is from Philadelphia, has some good details. This is probably would be graded a low mint state, probably around MS-63, I would think. Um, unless it is slightly circulated, which it would get AU. Either way, it still has that gorgeous luster and is pretty white. So let's toss this in the album. Here is the binge we have in here. A uh, nice circulated one, and we are going to upgrade it with this nice lustrous one. Okay, we got the old one out. I'm going to put the new one in, and there we have a gorgeous Benji upgrade in the album. We have more coming. It has been a while, but let's get some more in here. It is time to put another Benji in our album. Today's Benji is a really nice 1954. Has a few surface scratches on the obverse, unfortunately, but it has some beautiful luster. It's nice original atoning around the outside there and all across the reverse. This one definitely was in an album and has that nice, nice patina to it to show for it. Let's add it to our album and fill another spot. Okay, this is a Philadelphia, in case I didn't mention it earlier. So this is gonna go in this empty spot and we got another nice Benji in our album. Very cool. It's Benji time. Time to add another Benji to the album. We have a 1951. This one looks like it has been polished, but it is an S-minted one. This will fill a spot for now, and we will be upgrading this one at some point. But uh, let's fill some spots in the album. And here's the spot again. Even though this one is polished, I'm going to go ahead and put it in here to fill the spot. Um, and then I will be looking for a better one for an upgrade. Still a silver half and a good spot fill. Today's Benji is a 1954. Um, this one is a San Francisco. This one still has some pretty good detail on it. Um, it is a little worn, but it is a pretty nice silver half dollar overall. It does have a fingerprint on the obverse. This is going to fill a spot. We'll be looking for a better one, but it might be a while before we upgrade this one. Let's add this into the album. And here we go. Let's drop this in and fill one more spot in this album. Album's coming along nicely. Today's Benji is a 1949. This one is slick. Does have some detail still. Does look pretty good for being a worn Benji. This one is a San Francisco. This one is going to fill another spot in this album. Let's go ahead and toss it in. Here we go. Fill in spots. Even though it's slick, it is still a silver half dollar Benjamin Franklin. Very cool. Today's Benji is a beautiful one. I could go on and on, but I only have a minute to talk about it in this short. This is a nice, lustrous, um, looks uncirculated. It might be slightly circulated with a little bit of wear in here, but it's hard for me to tell. It does have some nice toning around the outside here. It's a little bit of a die clash on the backside of Benji there. It does not have the Bugs Bunny teeth. The reverse, this is a Philly, um, has some really nice bell lines there. And you can see some of the die clash here and a little bit in there. Let's add this to the album and make the album that much more beautiful. And here we go, we're gonna fill this spot here. This says that this has three million minted. This is actually wrong. It is 2.4 million mintage, the lowest minted Benji of them all. And we got a nice shiny example. Very beautiful coin, making the album that much better. Today's Benji, it's a little slick, 1949 from Denver. It is going to fill the final spot on the first of the three pages in this album. It is very nice to fill up an entire page of Benji's. This one will be upgraded at some point, but let's go ahead and fill the last spot on page one for now. And you can see we got all but this last spot here on the first page. Let's put this one in. This will fill in the book nicely. 
this is a little slick and will be upgraded again. But we have the first page of the album filled. Today's Benji is a circulated 1953. It's a little slick, but it still has some details on it. And this one is from Philly, and this one will be filling another spot. And here we go. Let's drop this in. According to the book, 2.3 quarter million is the lowest minted Benji. But looking up the actual mintages, this is the second lowest minted Benji. The 1955 out of Philadelphia had 2.4 million. This has 2.6 million. This is another nice spot fill. Having a low mintage, it might be a little harder for me to find an upgrade, but I will be looking. It does fill the spot for now until we get a better one. Today's Benji is a little bit of slick 1953. It still has some decent detail on it, but it is a solid slick silver from San Francisco and will be a great addition for the album. And here we go. Let's drop that in and take a look at that slick silver filling another spot. We will be upgrading at some point, but I find it so much more better to upgrade spots than to just hold out for the best. Very cool. Another spot filled. Today's Benji going in our album is a 1957 out of Philly. This one does have a little wear on it. Um, probably average circulation, probably around XF grade level. This one does have some luster still too. So it might get the low AU. Either way, it's still a nice solid Benji to go in our album. Let's add it in and fill another spot. And here we go. Dropping that in and filling spots. Album is coming along nicely. We're getting close to getting all the spots filled and then we will be hunting for upgrades. Today's Benji, we have a nice high quality lustrous Benji here. It's has some great luster, some great detail, some great look to it. It's some nice little tone around the outside. This one is a Denver, and we'll be upgrading the spot for the album. Let's get that coin switched out. Here's a quick comparison of what we have and what we're upgrading to. Very, very good upgrade. Let me get that one popped out, and we'll pop this in. Here's a good look at the old one. Still has some luster, and it's not a bad Benji overall. But this one is much nicer. Let's pop that in and upgrade our album to an even nicer quality half dollar. Very cool, awesome Benji, awesome album upgrade. Here's a quick overview of our album. We have the first page completely filled. We'll need some upgrades. Second page, we have one, two spots to fill. And page number three, we have two spots to fill. That's four spots plus a bonus. And I've got a very special coin going in that last spot after we get those four other spots filled. Got to find coins for them, but the album is coming along nicely. Today's Benji for our album. We have a nice, shiny, lustrous 1961. It's a very beautiful Benji. This one is a Denver. This one is going to fill one of our remaining holes in the book. Very cool. I uh, picked up several Benjis at a coin show, and they're all quite nice. And we're going to put them in the book. Let's start with this one. Okay, here we go. That is one more spot filled. One more beautiful Benji for the album. Very cool. Nice, shiny, lustrous Franklin. Half dollar, 90% silver. Gorgeous coin. Today is Benji. For our album, we have a very nice, high quality, 1959 Franklin half dollar here. This one is a Philadelphia, and it is in great shape. Very nice, very nice. There's one little nick down there, or there's one big nick down there over the bell lines. Um, a few small ones, but still, that is a gorgeous Gorgeous half dollar, and we're going to add it in the album. Okay, when we put this in here, like that, we will only have two spots left to fill. And man, that is a nice coin for the album. We still have some to upgrade. That'll probably take a while to get everything upgraded. But that is a very beautiful coin going in the album. Today's Benji for our album. 
We got another gorgeous 1956 out of Philly. Um, it does have a few little surface scratches here and there, but that is a really nice, high quality Benji. Let's go ahead and put it in the album and fill another spot. 1956, dropping in and filling our second to last dated spot. This is awesome. I have been waiting a while to get these last few Benjis in here and I cannot wait to put the rest in. Very cool, very cool indeed. Today we're gonna to be filling our last Benji spot in the album. Last dated spot, you can see I have Benji's on every page. This is the one that is missing right here. We'll be filling 1952S. We do have a bonus spot, which I'll be filling next, and that will be technically the last spot, but this is the last data spot. And here is the beautiful 1952S. It does have a little bit of a scratch across the front, unfortunately. This one is the best one I could find at the coin show. I'm gonna go ahead and add this in and the album will be technically complete. Here we go, last spot to fill the album. We will be upgrading a lot of these Benjis as we go along and I find upgrades. And this one, if I could find a better one, I will upgrade that as well. That scratch is really unsightly, but that's what we got. And there we have the album with Benji in every dated slot. Bonus fill coming up next. Well, technically our album is now complete. We will be upgrading uh, several little Benjis, and we have a very special coin to add today in the very last bonus spot. We have a 1955 Bugs Bunny. This one is pretty uncirculated. Look at this beautiful Benji, and you can see right here, there's a little bit, looks like he has some buck teeth, which is why they call the Bugs Bunny. This is a die clash. Die clash from back here on the eagle's feathers. It's very cool fine. Uh, no Benji album would be complete without a Bugs Bunny in my opinion. And last spot there. And drop this Bugs Bunny in. And that fills the final open spot in the album. Everything is filled now. Now we just got upgrades to work on. Very cool. That's a very awesome coin to put in here. Been holding on to this one for a while. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.